Well, I, I'm probably looking at it a little bit different than you are because I don't know that we should have ever had the points taken away to begin with. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's been a good week. You know, it's been really stressful trying to, you know, to prep for an appeal and, and not knowing what the outcome is going to be. And, and, you know, I, I'm, we're certainly happy with, you know, what the, the appeals committee came to, to that conclusion. But at the same time, um, you know, we feel like we laid out enough information there that it shouldn't have ever happened, or you know, even even the the the, the monetary side of it, and the crew chief side of it. The, we were really hoping we were going to get you know all of that back, but we're gonna we're gonna move on from that, and um, then we you know we come in here obviously with qualifying raining out that uh, paid off you know in more ways than than, than one. And good track position, and, and then you know fast race cars, and I mean once the green flag dropped, it's all about those teams executing and doing their job. But um, you know certainly quite a few smiles around campus this day, and it, you know been they've been down with what happened, and and so that definitely re-energized our folks this this week and and coming into this weekend's race, and certainly this win will do a lot for us as we move forward and go to Bristol. Jordan Bianchi, The Athletic. I apologize if this has already been asked, but what was the, what do you think was the reason you guys were successful when you guys, with the appeal on Wednesday? Well, I, I just think, you know, we were very transparent from the beginning of, of, you know, why we believe there was a miscommunication and, and what happened. And I feel, I, I, I said this in Atlanta, it should have never even come to that. It, it you know, there, I, I don't want to give up too much information because I want to respect the process. Um, but it's also a little frustrating that nothing gets shared from what you know, determines whether there's points given back or whether there's money not given back and you know crew chief suspension. So um, you know, I, I just feel like there was enough there that it's not clear cut. It's not just a black and white situation because there was enough communication to justify why we showed up to the racetrack in Phoenix the way we did. Um, and I think that, that, you know, had it been handled in a situation more like the wheels at Daytona with RFK and Penske, I think, you know, that, that, that's the way it should have been handled. It's, I understand it. There's a reason why you did this. And there's also a reason why you need to take them off the car. But, but it should never, to me, elevate it up to the, the level that it did. And I, clearly, the, the panel felt very similar to that.